What's up smokers and barbecues? Sean here from Smoke and Barbecue. I thought I'd give you guys a quick little video tutorial on how to burn in a poiki pot. Uh, you may or may not already know, but when you buy a poiki pot, you need to do what is called burning the pot in. So basically what you do is, or well, the reason for burning in a poiki pot is you want to get rid of any unwanted elements inside there from the factory. Um, sometimes there's wax inside there, there's certain particles, dust from shelf life. Um, so you kind of want to burn the pot so it's all ready for your, your cook and without um, affecting the flavor. Okay, cool. So firstly, put on some, uh, some safety gloves because uh, this cast iron gets pretty hot from the radiant heat from the charcoal coming up. So what I've gone and done is I've put it inside my uh, Weber kettle. I've gone and lit some charcoal at the bottom there. Wait for it to get nice and hot. And then what you do is... You just get some standard um, cooking oil and some tissue paper. And before you put the pot on top of the coals, you kind of just lather it all around with a little bit of thin layer of coat of oil. And then place the lid on top and you leave it for about 30 minutes, half an hour or so. And then once the smoke starts appearing, as you just saw when I open up the lid like it is now, that means it's starting to work. It's kind of burning off all the stuff around the walls and the edging. I also put a little bit on the lid. So you kind of just want that to burn off and get all the, the grit and unwanted elements around it to burn off. You can see that the discoloring is happening inside the oil there. I just use general um, sunflower cooking oil. And you can see all around the color is starting to change. It's all the stuff that's kind of just burning off it. Uh, so what you want to do is you just kind of want to burn that off. We're going to leave it on for another 15, 20 minutes. And then once it's done, just take it out. Um, let it cool down a bit and then take your, your tissue paper or some old rags and just want to clean and wipe out the inside and keep wiping and wiping until the tissue paper or the rag becomes clean and um, then you know your pot's ready to use. Then take off your pot, go give it a bit of a, a wash with some dishwashing liquid. Don't put it in the dishwasher because that ruins it and then uh, give it a bit of a dry and then put a small bit of oil inside and it's ready to cook. And then afterwards, again, just wash it out. Put a thin layer of oil inside it. Some people put newspaper and just leave it in the garage or wherever the case is because the, 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 the newspaper inside the pot absorbs the moisture, which stops the rust. Um, so you can either do one of two things. I like to put a little thin layer of oil and other people like to just put uh, some newspaper inside with the lid on and it's good to go. And this is basically how we've been um, burning in our pot for a number of years. We've done it this method and it, it simply works the best for us. So this tutorial is what we do and how we find it most effective. So yeah, that is how you burn in a poiki pot. Uh, you can find these poiki pots on our website, www.smokeandbbq, smokeandbarbecue.co.nz and have it delivered straight to your door. Awesome. We'll let this go for another 15, 20 minutes and then we'll take it off. Oh, before I forget, this is a size three pot. These are the ones that we're selling on our website. Um, it's the most popular family size pot and you can definitely feed between eight and 12 people from a pot of this size. I mean, look at that. See, it's starting to smoke there. She's almost ready. Another 10 minutes and I'm going to take it off. Cool, guys. Thank you. Enjoy. Happy poiking.